Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're tuning in on Saturday, April 1st, 2023, it's an exciting day because it's this year's opening day for the store, Dirk and Natalie's Treasures. We do stay shut during the winter just because the store is not heated. That is very low on our list of priorities when it comes to projects to do here around the homestead. So we do close down. Um, usually it is late October, early November, depending on the weather. So we're here outside. We don't have too much outside yet. I'm sure we'll accumulate some more, some more goodies out here as the year goes on. Dirt got our sign hung back up. A few windy storms ago, it was probably a month or so before the doe hutch fell. I came down here one evening to get a package together for somebody that purchased something on eBay and I noticed that the sign had blown down. So I'm glad that I caught it when I did because it's just that old tin. So it would have ended up probably halfway across Jackson County. But I remember somebody had said, hey, it would have been free advertising. Yeah, I guess it would have been. <laughs> but it's hung back up and, and lower this time. So Hopefully, the wind won't catch it as easy. I know we've had a lot of really windy days this year. But there's nothing too special out here on the porch. I've still got to do a lot of work out here. It kind of just becomes a catch-all for everything that I don't have room for inside yet. So... So that's the outside and very poor lighting. <laughs> if you come and see us and uh, you hear somebody talking to you but you don't see anybody, it's usually because I'm hanging out on the porch and just the, the drastic change of the sunlight going onto the shaded porch, it can mess with you sometimes, take you a little while for your eyes to adjust. But let's go check out inside real quick, I'll give you a, a quick preview. Alright, so here we are. If you notice any blank space, empty space on the tables, don't worry. Those won't be there that long. I still have two full rooms jam-packed with boxes to go through to get product out. All of our records are a dollar a piece. We do have some old record players and they both will turn on but won't actually spin the records and I don't know enough about record players to even attempt to fix them, so. I've actually cleared a lot out of here this winter. A lot of what was in here that had been in here for a while ended up on my eBay store. I flip-flop those every now and then. I'll take stuff off eBay and put it out here and vice versa. And it's funny, some things that I've had in the store for a year that I switched to eBay, if it didn't sell on eBay and I'd move it back out to the store, it would sell almost instantly. But we'll be getting quote unquote new, new items all summer. I'll be adding things pretty much every weekend that we're open, every day that we're open. And um, that goes to remind me that if you're planning on stopping by, our hours are Saturdays and Sundays, April through October, mid-September, or October, end of October is typically when we close down. Um, 
and Saturday hours are 11 to 5, Sundays are 1 to 5. However, we do have a very, very busy summer scheduled between here, the produce stand, and everything else that we have going on. So it's important to either check my Facebook page or the store's Facebook page if you're wanting to swing by just to make sure that it's not a day that we've had to close unexpectedly. I will post um, at the beginning of each month any days that we know for sure that we're going to be closed that month, but it's important to check the page before you come out here so you don't make a wasted trip. We try not to have too many unexpected closings like that but it's life and things do happen so and if you're in the area if you're looking to get rid of anything we do buy buy lots for the store just depending on space we are not always able to take on new product like I said, I've got my back room and what's supposed to be in process of getting Dirk's office done has taken back over as storage, so. All right, so you've seen a little bit of the outside and you've seen some of what's on the inside. I assure you, you can probably look around in here for quite some time and each lap you take, you're going to find something different. But like I said, we hope to see you out at some point this summer if you're local. If not, and you see something that you like in one of the videos or if you follow us on Facebook, reach out because I have no problem shipping. So I do accept Venmo and that's another thing for the store if you're stopping by. We don't have a card reader, so we accept cash, local check, and Venmo. So, we hope to see you, and until next time, friends, keep on keeping on.